Okay. Um, some people seem to have some issues with Garmin Base Camp and their Montana with the crossing routes. Um, this is the way I do it. I do tracks rather than routes. Uh, can't see the point of the route. Um, you're just looking at the screen, following the line, um, maybe with a direction pointer telling you which way the junctions are going. So you've got your Base Camp map there. You can zoom in get your ordnance survey. So you want to go for a ride, so you want to plot a route. So first of all you need to mark up all your byways. Two ways of doing that, find somebody who's already done it or spend months and do it yourself. Whichever you want to do that's up to you. So you don't have to do that, obviously what you can do pick your way through the map, marking up your byways as you plot in your track and then after you've done that you can get in contact with the council and make sure that they're all still legal. Just because they show on the map doesn't mean they're open, doesn't mean they're legal. So we're going to do a quick loop of Salisbury Plain on the GPS. So select new track and pick your start point. So for argument's sake, we're starting there in Tidworth. So two ways you can do that. You can either zoom in and then plot your route. You don't have to be accurate at junctions. My favoured method is to make the turn early so the direction pointer on the GPS Montana changes its direction sooner rather than later to give you a bit of warning. So you follow your marked up tracks or you scour your pages trying to find them. This is Salisbury Plain so it's all relatively simple. And you mark your little route as to where you want to go, etc. etc. Obviously, you'll need to check with the MOD whether that range is open. So, you've done your loop and just come off the plane there. Not quite sure if that's the correct one. Now, Try not to cross the tracks. If you do, when you're following them, you might take a wrong turn in. You could come up to this junction here and you would see both the lines on your GPS and if your pointer hadn't updated or maybe was just playing up or you weren't using it, you could quite easily follow this track and you're going around the route again. So what I do, you know you're on the main road just mark it a few millimetres off of it. Obviously you know you're on the road. The Garmin will show you when you're turning left or right. So easy peasy. Once you've done that, select your track and give it a name. So we'll just call that Plain Loop Demo 1. And we'll make it nice and easy to see and change its colour. Thing. There you go. Right. So now when you open that up, that tells you that's 20.7 kilometres long. You can set that up to miles. I use kilometres. So you know your fuel range. So that's one way of doing it. When you've done that, you can either export it, chuck it on your desktop, do whatever you want with it. So it's export. And you want to just export the selection, you don't want to export all these other tracks that are listed there. So export selection and we throw that somewhere in the desktop and save that. So that's on your desktop. Plain loop demo one. You can attach that to an email. You can post it wherever you like. I would prefer it if you didn't share tracks and encouraged people to make their own. 
otherwise lanes just get overused and other lanes get neglected. So there you go, that's your route there. The difficulty with that is, is that if you wanted to plan a long route covering lots of area, then you're going to have to keep scrolling and zooming in and out to find it. And if you don't have your lanes marked up, you're only going to be able to see them at that range or that level zoom. So the alternative is to do it this way. New track. So we're going to start at Tidworth. We want to head down to there, possibly pick that lane up, and then we go to there, and we go up here, we go up here, up here, down there. Himbert's closed, so we then just make our way around here. As you can see, I'm not really paying a lot of attention as to where I'm clicking, as long as it's roughly where I want to be. And then we'll just have a little blast up 303, straight to Bulford, and back to Tidworth. That will do. Right, so now you zoom into your Ordnance Survey map, and as you can see, the line's missing everything, so that's no good. Press the M key, that is move. Select the point, double click it, and move it to where you want. That's your first line there. Click I now for insert, and then you want to insert along the way as accurately as you can be asked where you actually want to go. If you want to change it, add an extra lane in there, no bother. A little zigzagging up there as well. Now what you see is you've got a point out of place. Well, you can ignore that for now. Oops, ignore that. And now what we're doing is there. Right, so that's getting a bit cluttered. So E is the eraser and you erase the points you do not want. There you go, looks all tidy. Um, which one? Look that one there, right, okay. Looks looking a bit more clean. Insert there, select this segment, and are we gonna get across to there? Good point. So you pick your way along, like I say, be as accurate as you want. And then we get down to there. So the advantage of doing it this way is you've got this line here that's your rough guide. So you know roughly where you are and where you need to be making your marks. So there we've gone past the mark there, so it's zigzagging back, that's no bother. Just ignore it. You can erase those points later. As you can see, put an extra little loop in there and down to there. So I'll tidy that up now. What you can do here is just zoom out, either erase. Pick the ones, so now we're back on track. You could always do a very rough track just by doing it at this zoom level. And then you could go and zoom in and use the M for move just to tidy it up a bit more. And insert points wherever you feel you want a bit of extra guidance obviously if you're on a track and it's dead straight for five miles or a road you don't need to make a mark every hundred yards you know where you're going or at least you know roughly where you're going because you've got a line to follow So, 
Obviously when you're on the plane, or anywhere, you want to make sure you're going roughly in the right direction. If you don't want to be going into places that you're not allowed, not only will you probably get a fine, if you do it again, you might end up with your bike confiscated. Or, you might run over on an unexploded shell and blow yourself and your bike to pieces. Right. So again here, we know we want to turn right there so it doesn't really matter that we're off the course but what I don't want to do is get confused with that other track and end up going off in the wrong direction. If you're in an area you know and you know what lanes you're on, well, you haven't got to be too thorough. I'm uh, not quite sure what's going on there. So you tidy it up as much or as little with the move insert key as with everything Excel, Word, learn the shortcut keys and the quicker you learn them the quicker you'll get to grips with everything toggle between them Drag them where you want them, insert them where you need to. So we know we're on the 303 there, so I'm not going to fanny about and mark every junction. You know you're staying on it until you turn left onto a C road, and that's dead straight until you hit that byway there. So that's the only mark you need to make there, and that one you just need to move there. One in there, one in there, move that. Right, and then we'll do some rubbing out. And that all looks pretty good. Right, so you've done that. Again, name it. I'll call that one. Demo, uh, plane demo. Plane demo two. Give it a different colour, go yellow. I wouldn't really use yellow because you will get confused with these roads. But it's okay for the purposes of this. Right, so once we're good to go with that, you can zoom it in and then you can go for a little ride. That's roughly the route you're going to be taking. So you can familiarise yourself if you know the area. You get a rough idea as to where you're going run in the same routes or the same entry points to routes then you know where you're going to that point. So that's that scooting around. And you can zoom out and get a rough overview. Double click on it to open it, that one's 72 kilometers long. Okay. So click on device send it to your device send just the selection to the device obviously mine's not plugged in but if it did it would come up here and you would just throw it into the internal memory or the external one when you go into your track manager you should see it named there or again export selection and throw it onto your desktop or folder or whatever you want to do 
Job's a good one. So there you go. Planning tracks. Don't bother with routes. They take up far too much uh, waypoints and flags and God knows what. You don't need them. All you need is this. And then when you transmit that to your Montana or other Garmin device, you will see this line. You'll press the green button that says go. And if you've got it set up in the top of your screen will be a little pointer. You don't really need to see that. You know roughly you look at your map, you go right, I'm going to the end of the road and turning left. And then you ride it and the more fluent you become, the easier it becomes. Right, bear with me. Right, okay. That's that firing up. So, device, send to device, send selection, and we want to send that just to the unit, which is the F in that case. Click OK, and you can see it's there. You could click on that, and you can see I've got my petrol stations marked in there permanently few tracks obviously once you've ridden the track you can then disregard the route and just save the track you've just ridden that way you know you're absolutely on the money if you want to you can go in and just tidy the ends or the missed turns and double backs or whatever so that's that right so you want to eject that now see if this has got any life in it. Right, okay, so that's fired up and in here somewhere. Plain demo 2. You can reverse it, you can delete it, but you want to be viewing it. And there it is on the map. And when you're at your start point, zoom it into the level you want. And I think that would be sufficient. So you can zoom in and out whatever you want. Right, so you're at your start point, um, and then you just hit the go button. And up here, this little arrow here, that's your dashboard, that brings up your pointers. Now if you've set your turns a little bit early, they should be turning and showing you before you get to the junction. Sometimes they take a little while to update, think of the accuracy of the GPS, if it's 10 meters or 15 meters then you want to be setting your turn 15 meters around when you plot your route so if say for instance you're coming up this track here and you want to turn there well you don't have to be that accurate why not at the next turn plot it there and do that you know that you're looking for a road you can see the map underneath it up to you how you want to do things that's uh, the way I do it sometimes depending on where I'm riding so the options there if you go into that button there for three bars set up map you can have a large data field and you can then set that up as your pointer if you're blind and you can then see where you're at right so happy days now you know what you're doing <laughs>